You know, Proverbs chapter one is so rich. It's so filled with just amazing nuggets of truth. And in the first handful of verses of Proverbs one, Solomon, the writer under inspiration of the Holy Spirit, is telling us why Proverbs was written. And tucked away in that um, introduction is just one of the greatest amazing nuggets of life and protection and riches to me. It is in verse 3, and it says, again, giving the litany, the list of why the book of Proverbs was given to us by God. <clears throat> it says, to know wisdom, to receive or accept wisdom, the instruction of wisdom specifically. The first part of verse 3 says, the interesting thing is the word wisdom is not the normal Hebrew word chukmah. It's the word used only probably 70 or 80 times in Scripture. The word sekel, S-A-K-A-L. That's one of the most intriguing, fascinating words to me. It means to be intelligent because you are circumspect. Wow. What does circumspect mean? It means to inspect the circumference. So Proverbs is saying that the book of Proverbs will bring us to the place where we have an ongoing inspection around our life that gives us an awareness and an instruction that keeps us in the right way and in the path that causes us to live in shalom and blessing. Now, there's only one way we can do that, and that's by the empowerment of Holy Spirit. But he's the author of the Word of God. <laughs> he wrote the book that is our shield and our buckler. He wrote the book by which he guides us, by which he corrects us, by which he uh, uses it as a rod sometimes to chasten us as we need it. He is the one who makes us circumspect. It gives us an awareness, gives us a nudging when something from this side is not right or something from uh, ahead of me, maybe even beyond my view, something from the rear. He's our rear guard. Something back here is not quite right. He encircles us and gives us a circumspect <coughs> view, an inspected circumference around our life that causes us to always be able to live in confidence and a lack of fear because he is guarding our lives and directing our steps. Wow, wow, wow. What an incredible, incredible teaching the word sekel contains in it. And the first, the, the third verse in the book of Proverbs tells us that that book is given to us to make us a sekel kind of person, one who lives circumspectly. By the way, that's what Ephesians says we're to do in the last days or when the days are evil. Um, walk circumspectly, redeeming the time for the days are evil. So how do we maximize the time God's given us? How do we go back and reclaim missed opportunities that God wanted us to have, but because we weren't walking quite right or we weren't um, giving him our mind or our heart or other circumstances may be totally out of our control? We missed opportunities. How do we go back and reclaim that? Proverbs will help us do that. No wonder Proverbs chapter 8 says, He that daily sits at my gates... <laughs> gleaning my wisdom will live a life in shalom. Wow. I want that. Don't you want that? Don't you want a life so ordered by the Lord that no matter what it looks like around us, no matter what the world is fretting about or fearing about, our steps are so ordered that we accomplish the purpose for which we were created. We fulfill our assignments that God has made us for and given to us. I want that. I want that for you. 
Shalom to you in Jesus' name.